All right, back with you on the Bronx Buzz. This is when we switch gears and uh, really have some fun. We're going to talk to very, very talented Bronx people and a brand new uh, project. So let's talk to director and writer Jalen Presley. Nice to have you with us, Mr. Presley. How's it going, guys? Thanks for having me on. And an actor named, uh, let's get it right, Charlie O. Smith. Nice to have you with us, Charlie. Charlie Q. Smith. Charlie Q. I guess I... I need to put my glasses on. Uh, <laughs> nonetheless, uh, nice to have you with us, Charlie. Nice to see you. Um, uh, Jalen, let's just, um, we're, we're going to talk about Divided, which is um, the new series um, that you're working on, um, yeah. but a little bit just about you. So you, you have um, done a number of things. You had another, um, I'm guessing there were some forks in the road that you could have made some decisions, but you said, I want to do independent filmmaking why? <laughs> Some people no, would say, sure. "Are you are you out of your mind?" But others sure. would say, "I get it." So, what what where where are you at? Um, you know, uh, something like uh, I always tell myself, you know, trying to be a filmmaker, you know, you know, it's definitely a marathon, not a sprint. So, you know, I just always try to tell myself to just stay in the race. You know, so my passion for film, for filmmaking started a long time ago, back when I was a little kid, and then uh, I went to Hunter College and I got my BA in filming from there. You know, the passion just grew day by day. So, you know, it's, it's kind of hard. You know the independent filmmaker to get funding and things of that nature but once I do I'm able to tell great stories and work with great people like Charlie so you know it, it's an everyday struggle but you know I, I'm in the fight and I love it. What 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 is the subject matter that drives you? What What are the the stories that you want to tell? That's a great question man. I, I truly <laughs> just think it's me just you know I kind of always tell myself to stay humble and you know take everybody's experience with a grain of salt. Everybody's perspective is different so I'm really inspired by just day-by-day people you know in my line of work, you know, I work in a law enforcement as well. So I get a different perspective with people every day. You know, everybody comes across with different stories. And so I'm really just inspired by just people, to be honest with you. I'm not sure if that's the perfect answer, but I think everybody has a story. So that's kind of what inspires me. I got to tell you, I ask uh, people who are filmmakers and um, documentary makers and, and, and who work in the Bronx, there are worlds here in our buildings, in our homes that nobody knows about. Great. They don't know who we are. They don't know what right, we're thinking. The media, the larger media than this media presents us in some other way that who knows 100%. what they're thinking. And they don't know how nice it is to live in a building with people, which is what I do with people from all over the world. And we all get along and we all respect each other and we all appreciate every, you know, they, they just have no idea. And and we struggle through all kinds of things, believe me, we don't have to, to do that. Anyway, Charlie, nice to uh, have you with us. Talk to me a little bit about um, your um, experience and you, uh, in a way, are well-traveled as, as kind of a a, an acting student yeah. um talk talk to me about what what motivates you what got you to to this point where you're in this series and you've got a lot of things going on um so uh basically prior to this i grew up a dancer in new york city and then an unfortunate injury to my knee Ooh. i had to yeah i had to uh sort of pivot um how i was going to express myself and i tried doing things like um you know, the typical English and or, or psychology or whatever it is in school, but I, I couldn't stick to one thing. So the next best thing for me was, okay, well, what would allow me to do it all? And that I fell upon, you know, acting. So it's like, all right, tomorrow I get to be a doctor and the next day I can be a lawyer if I wanted to. And it allowed me to express myself in a way that, um, that I needed being, uh, an artist, um, as a dancer anyway. So. You, you, you know, I'm, I'm hearing from both of you the same reason that I got into doing what I do. It's the only thing that made me feel like me. You know, right. it's like this, this yeah. is who I am. This is what I do. Uh, you know, maybe I could do better in some ways uh, doing something else. But and I'm hearing from both of you, of course, much younger than I am, but um, <laughs> getting getting started. Um, so let's talk about um, Divided now. Um, you know, you're, you're working to raise funds. We all know that, that uh, this goes on. Um, you know, it's part of part of the game, so to speak. Uh, tell me what Divided is all about. I um, guess that's so the, for Jalen. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I wrote this project about almost a year ago. And so this project basically just tackles on the family dynamic and as well as addiction, gentrification, all those factors into one. And the biggest thing I take away from this project is, you know, I'm sure as us three on this panel, you know, we all have a different perspective on what family truly is and for everybody family is different and so i think we definitely see that in this picture because the the, the idea of family is 
it changes so often throughout this short piece. This is, only, this is only 15 minutes, so we shot the first episode already, and we're trying to gather funding to shoot the next episode. But within the first episode, you can really see how family really has people questioning their their motives. We're, we're going to show, um, you know, a, sh- a short clip, a really very short clip. Um, Charlie, why is this a good role for you? Like, you know, you, I, I don't know how many scripts you got to read or whatever, but when you saw it, um, presumably you said, oh, I can do this. What, what do you like about this role? Um, I think the thing that I liked about the script most was that there was a level of, su- of substance. Um, there was what we actors like to call meat in the script. So <laughs> it allowed... It allowed- and we, we viewers want to call it meat also. We rather right. not have it. <laughs> so it allowed for the fat. To- there was substance, something for me to chew on. And then also I I am the oldest of three. So, uh-huh. um, and I do have a much closer relationship with my youngest sibling. So there's, it it, it just fit basically. Yeah, they, you know, to me in this one minute clip you're gonna see gets right into the, the, the dialogues that go on in our apartments and our homes in the Bronx all the time. So um, do you wanna set this up Jalen? Um, this one minute, it's very short. Um, yeah. But you see the quality of the production and you see the intensity of the actors right off the bat. Uh, so set it up so people watching will know exactly what we're looking So this scene is between uh, Charlie, she plays the lead, and uh, Sharice, who plays the uh, older brother. So this scene is between the two of them. And they, so Charlie, I mean, so Sharif has just discovered that Charlie has been keeping a secret away from him. And everybody knows that whoever has siblings, you hate when a sibling keeps a secret <laughs> from them. So this is the part where really like the, the fulcrum, as they say in the film industry, the fulcrum is when there's a balance between the two actors and they start to have their back and forth. And you really get to, as Charlie would say, the meat of the bone in this scene because they're not having it. They're both they're both bulls in this scene. They're both fighting for what they want in this scene. And so I think we really get a glimpse of that right here. All right, here we go. Your first look, my first look, our, well, not their first look, uh, <laughs> at a um, uh, 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 moment, uh, it's literally one minute from Divided. Oh, I'm not sharing my location with you. I'm uh, I'm on the highway. Love you. Bye. Uh, Justin, don't forget to um, put the money in the safe. Don't you usually close up shop, boss? Luz and I planned on grabbing dinner tonight, remember? Yeah, just like you two planned on keeping this from me. <laughs> Ever since we were kids, You always acted as if you knew what was best, as if dad put you in charge. You don't think dad is rolling over in his grave with the way you behave? Oh, please. You were so far up mom's (laughs) trying to be her clone. You would do anything to get their attention. It became pathetic. Dad, he used to hide out here just to get away from you. Oh, please. He wanted away from all of us. (laughs) You, you created this cloak around him. No. Dad, he was running a business, something you know nothing about. All right, there we go. Your first uh, look at uh, Divided. Uh, Look, I'm going to tell you straight out. The acting is fierce. There's something about it that makes me say, oh, I'd like to really see what the heck is going on. So you've teased us very well. And it's obviously shot uh, beautifully. Um, You know, where where was it shot, um, Jalen and... um, uh, just talk about the process of being out in the street and, you know, it's not easy to do this. Yeah, definitely. Let let me just tell you, and I know that if you want to just say, oh, let's shoot a scene in the subway, you've got about three months of bureaucracy to get your camera down there. Right. So, and even me, you know, before, like I said, before being an independent filmmaker, you know, I worked in TV production for about three years now. So, and I worked in locations department, so I know how hard it is to, secure location but uh this film wasn't with so let me backtrack a little bit we shot a 15 page script in one day anybody who knows wow. who works in film knows how difficult and how much of a hurdle that yeah. is so we did all this in one day and, and we did this all in one location we like they say it's called movie magic it was on one corner pretending it was somewhere else and on the next corner pretending it was somewhere else and i just want to thank my crew and cast for that but uh, this scene was shot at Dan's Toy Store, which is in City Island. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with Dan's oh, Toy they, Store. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, I got to I want to go back and look at it. Yeah, and, uh, he's a great guy, out. man. Um, but great, before great we guy. run out of time, um, Charlie, just talk to me about your preparation as an actor for a scene like that. Do you have to, like, walk around and look in the mirror and get mad in order to do it? Uh, like, what? Because to to drum up the 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 emotion, you got to do something. What, what do you do to get to that point? 
Um, so I don't necessarily have to walk around and get upset. I just have to <laughs> remind them. I'm very much a circumstance of the script. So um, I have to pay attention to where I'm at and who I'm talking to. In that moment, it wasn't, you know, I wasn't talking to Sharif. I was talking to my brother who's disrespecting my father, who's my idol. So it's just just sticking to the actual um the details of the script uh, and what's what's occurring, and then also just allowing yourself to be present in the moment. And you know, yeah. I didn't like the way he was talking to me. So <laughs> I, I, I didn't like it either. But on the other hand, maybe he had, he was making a point that was deep seated and deep uh, rooted. You know, um, it, this is what I know because I did not pass my acting class at Lehman College many many years ago. But I but I know it's not a matter of pretending. Right. It's a matter of, like you just said it, being in, you got to be that, yes. you know, otherwise it, it doesn't communicate, right? right? Exactly. A lot of people think that when they say acting, you know, you have to actually act, but it's not. It's just you, it's so, the statement's so overdone, but literally living truthfully in an imaginary circumstance. So. Listen, Bronx, Bronx people making good films, making things about our homes, making things about our lives, respect and love for all you guys. Let's talk about now. So the, the, there's a Kickstarter page, right? We, you know, that kind of, or there's one coming, that kind of thing. That's yeah. how people can uh, support. Uh, I'm and, and do you have a time frame of when we're going to see it? So the project now, we're in the work of uh, trying to secure a uh, distribution for the project as well as one in the film festival circuit so it's just now just a waiting game on seeing right. who get who gets who gets the distribution as well as which festivals we get into but there's definitely a vote to within the next couple months where this project will be be able to be seen from people's laptops cell phones any right. streaming device that they want they'll be able to see the project 100%. Fan fantastic listen we got to run uh, jalen presley thank you so much charlie q Smith, nice to see you and nice to meet you. Uh, and uh, we appreciate you being here. You have an open invitation to come on the Bronx Buzz and Bronx Net to talk about your stuff, to show your films and promote, promote, promote. We want to we want you to do great. We want you to win Emmy, um, excuse me, Oscar awards. Yeah. And uh, and we'll go from there. All right. Thank you so, so much. Well, yeah, that great. was a quick thing. Like I just wanted to say that Very if, quick. if anybody wants to donate to the kick the Kickstarter, it'd be under divided. Uh, mini series on the Jalen Presley. So I there you go. Look for Divided and Jalen Presley. You can find it. Uh, listen, guys, thank you so much. You know, you, you're just thank doing you so what much, we man. need. Always a pleasure. Yep. That's what we need to do. So that's it, folks. Um, we will uh, say good night to you and we will see you uh, next week on uh, the Bronx Buzz. Have a good week. Stay safe. Love your neighbors. Kiss your kids. And we'll see you then. Good night. <laughs>